Hi everyone, long time no see since I haven't done a video in a couple of months now. So I've accumulated a lot of empties again and even though I've bought a lot of things again, it was my birthday so I've actually got some gifts and bought some things myself so probably the next video I will do is going to be a haul but this time I'll show you what I've finished. So this time it's mostly makeup not so much skincare so i'll start with um the makeup things that i actually went through this month well this couple of months so the first one i finished is this rimmel transparent powder i think it's the rimmel stay matte transparent powder um there's like a little bit left on the edges but i didn't finish it because actually i don't think i like this powder i used to like it before a lot but actually, um, it does give you a little bit of a white cast and it does look cakey because throughout the day, if you reapply it, if you apply it just once, it's fine. But then when your face gets um, shiny again and you put this again, it looks quite cakey. So I'm not going to be buying this powder anymore. I'm going to go and try something else. Another thing I finished that I absolutely love is this Clinique Airbrush Concealer. Unfortunately, the writing comes off after a couple of months you use it, so that's not very good. But it's one of those sort of like brush uh, concealers where you have to like um, twist this and the product comes up. It's a really nice concealer for brightening. It doesn't really crease. It doesn't really settle into your fine lines, so it's a great concealer to use. Um, on a daily basis. It does keep your under eye really bright and I think it looks really good in photography as well. So I've actually already bought another one and I will continue using it because I really like it. And the color I wear, well it's already rubbed off on this one, but it's 04 neutral or neutral fair, I'm not sure, but it's 04. And they have a couple of shades. Um, they have lighter ones which is more pinker, this is more yellow, and then they have couple of darker shades as well. I've also finished an eyeliner. This was Physician's Formula eyeliner in this sort of um, coppery, beautiful coppery color. It came in a set of three. It had this one, dark brown one, and the black one. I gave the dark blonde and black one to my mom, and I like this one the most, and I've pretty much used it on a daily basis on my lower lash line. And it's a really nice um, liner. It lasts well. Um, and it's really good. I would buy it again. The only thing is that I don't really like that it comes in set because then you end up buying and maybe not using the other colors, but um, otherwise it's a really nice liner and I would probably get it again. Um, so let's stay in eye makeup. I finished Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer potion. Love it. I always buy it. I think this is the best one um, eyeshadow primer on the market. I've tried Too Faced one. Um, I've tried Smashbox one. I haven't tried the NARS one, but I really, really like this one. And I think it makes my eyeshadow last whole day. Um, I don't have any creasing. I think it's great. And a great value for the money as well because it lasts quite a long time, even though I mostly wear eyeshadow pretty much every day. So it lasts a really long time. Another eye product I finished is this Benefit Their Real Mascara, which is my favorite mascara ever. You probably already know because I talk about it all the time. I already bought a new one and I will use it as long as I don't get sick of it and as long as I don't find something better, which I haven't yet. Now, I have two lip products that I finished. I have this uh, Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in... East End Snob. It's one of those sort of twist up lip liners. It was really, really beautiful color, very natural, goes with a lot of um, natural pinky lipsticks. Only thing I didn't like was that it kind of smelled really funny, like very industrial, plasticky kind of smell. So I don't think, I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna buy this again because of the smell, but otherwise it was great liner. I might actually buy it. It's quite cheap too and it wears really well, it doesn't come off, and it's um, it's a nice color. And I think this is the first lip liner I ever finished, ever, because I usually lose them, um, and then I just have to buy a new one. Another lipstick, lip product that I finished is this Dear Addict lipstick in the color Singulier, six, it's the color, the number is 465. It's a wonderful pink. Um, sort of like lipstick. It has balmy um, 
a consistency. Um, it's very bright in the tube, but on lips it goes like a really natural, beautiful pink color. It is a Barbie pink, but very wearable, very subtle, sort of sophisticated pink. Um, and I really liked it. I would probably buy it for the summer because it's more of a summery scent. I really like the packaging as well. It's quite expensive, but I mean, you're paying for the brand and for this fancy packaging. And it looks so lovely when you take it out and apply on your lips and you put it back in. And it's really easy to find in your makeup bag or handbag because it's reflective. I like it. It was a good buy. Another thing, okay, this is, I think, oh, one more thing with makeup. I finished this Dior Skin Nude BB Cream. And I wear it in color 002. I think they have six colors now. So there's first one, which is like very light. It's more pinky. This one's more yellow and I quite like it. Um, it's a nice BB cream. It has quite good coverage, but um, you do have to set it with powder, especially if you have oilier skin, because it does not last that well on your skin because somewhere sometime like midday, it, you already start noticing that like um, your face gets a little bit shinier, but if you set it with powder, then it lasts pretty much throughout the whole day. The only thing that I wasn't crazy about this product is that it has a lot of alcohol. I think alcohol is like third or fourth ingredient on the list. And when even when you sort of apply it on your face, you can um, tell and you can like sort of like smell alcohol. Um, it does smell otherwise good, a little bit like roses. It has this like typical Dior um, scent. And I like the packaging as well. It's a tube with a pump, a very clean pump top. Um, one pump is more than enough for your whole face. The color is great. So if you want something low maintenance, quick, um, something that you could wear during the day, it's a good product. The price isn't too bad either for Dior. It's about $40, I think. Um, it's a good BB cream, but I don't think I'll be buying it again because I want to try some other things. And I already bought a um, couple of foundations that I'll talk about in the next video. So I think um, I'm done for, I'm done buying foundations for a little bit. Uh, now I have a little bit of skincare things. I finished this Nuke's Aroma Veillance, um Moisturizing Deep Wrinkle Emulsion Cream. Very nice cream, great for winter. Only thing I wasn't crazy about was the scent. It smells very herbal. Um, it smells, some people might like it. To me, it was a little bit too much, but the cream, cream itself was pretty good. I really like Nuke's uh, skincare and body care products. I think they're really good. And um, I would buy this cream again, um, but um, the only thing that would make me sort of like think twice is the scent because it was too overwhelming. Um, I finished L'Occitane Shea Butter Hand Cream and as you can see I squeezed out every little bit of the product because I absolutely love this hand cream. Um, my hands get really um, sensitive during the winter and um, I do need to wear something um, thicker and this cream is just like absolutely wonderful. And one more, I think I have two more things left and then that's it. I tried the sample of Lancome Energy de Vie, which is like lotion, um, dullness relief and energy recharging daily lotion in gel. It's sort of like a moisturizing um, gel, but it you do need to wear cream on top because it's not very moisturizing, but it smelled really good and it was pretty good. I don't think I would be buying um, a full size of this product, but um, I... I enjoyed wearing it and it's probably the best to wear it in the summer because it's quite light as I said. Um, I finished also a deodorant, the one that I usually wear which is Bioderma Sensi Bio or Sensi Bio Deo. Um, very nice deodorant, um, it's hypoallergenic so I like it. I can't really use mainstream deodorants like Secret or Lady Spistic because they, I find them quite irritating but this one is wonderful, very very nice deodorant. Um, since we're talking about Bioderma, I also finished uh, their micellar water, which I absolutely love. And I'm repeating myself for the millionth time because I have it. I have this bottle in pretty much every empties video I do, and I absolutely love it. Um, I think it's a great product. I already bought the big bottle. And another Bioderma product I um, finished is this exfoliating purifying gel. 
which is specifically for combination oily skin. Very nice, uh, very nice um, exfoliator, very gentle. And I would definitely try it again. I was very happy with the results. I don't know if it did anything in terms of like oil control, but it was perfect for exfoliating. Um, I have another Batiste dry shampoo, which is same as Bioderma Micellar Water. I have them in my um, every uh, empties video I do, which I love Batiste, it's great. And then I lastly finished this Cotton Rounds from like two different brands. I love cotton rounds and um, I like, uh, I prefer them the most for uh, removing makeup with Bioderma. So this is pretty much it for um, this empties video. As I said, I will film um, the whole uh, next and show you what I got and see you next time. Bye-bye.